Uh, some record rainfall down there, and it just didn't quit. That's why the field was just in a mess. terrible shape, terrible shape. But Luckily, they good, didn't get injured. I know. Good to come out of there with a draw. I think there were two red cards in that game, too. Is that right, Chris? Was there yeah. Two? Yeah, for each side. Unbelievable. Yeah, 53 degrees your temperature right now. Those games are always fun to watch. Lake Union camera looking mostly cloudy. Gaining daylight, though. Hey, our sunsets tonight at 9.08. Sunsets are going to continue to be after 9 o'clock into mid to late July. And then we start to slowly lose daylight. Paul and Cal forecast still going to be in the moderate levels here today, but with the introduction to some more rain back in the picture here late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then again on Friday, we're going to be back down into the good or low level here. So that's good. If there's something to be said about the rain this time of year, it definitely dampens our ponds. Uh, current temperatures are in the 40s and 50s on the west side of the Cascades. Wenatchee's at uh, 49 and then down in Tri-Cities. Kind of a more mild start to the day out there in the upper 50s. We're going to see some late showers, but until then, mostly cloudy skies with some sun breaks in the mix. Tomorrow, we're going to see a lot more sunshine, so that we'll have that to look forward to. We'll also have a little bit warmer temperatures to look forward to as we get into your Thursday. So King Snohomish and Pierce counties, highs today, right around 66. We're going to stay cloudy throughout the day, but there will likely be some sun breaks in the mix. And once we get past 4 o'clock and we get into the 8, 9, 10 o'clock hours, that's when we could see a few showers pop up here and there. Here's that seven day forecast. So more dry than wet the next three days. Early showers expected on Thursday and then just a few showers on Friday. Right now, Saturday looking like our wettest day of the next seven. It's also going to be our coolest day with highs only in the low 60s. That's 10 degrees below average for this time of year. If you're heading to the Sounders match or the OL rain match that day, prepare for a wet one. Shower chance for Father's Day and then we get back to dry weather as we get into Monday and Tuesday. All right. That's your seven day forecast. I want to see how those roads are doing. Let's send it to Adam.